Hello, Olivia, the world is me, Queen Nightmare, and I am going to do the tenth part of my um, <laughs> reading on Wattpad. You are my sunshine. So, I wanted to say and announce that I'm going to try to do a live every single day right after school. Um... Probably not Wednesdays, but Thursdays and maybe Fridays. But on Saturdays and Sundays, I will be able to. I wanted to give you a heads up because I want to hear from you guys what you want to have next. Um, but please let me know. I would love to hear from your side and what you want to hear next. And if you have any questions for me, uh, put it down in the comments below or go on my live stream and ask them there. I had some really cool, um, cool questions and cool content on my live stream today, so that was fun. Um, chapter 5, Bright Green Eyes. Bright, no, Chapter 5, Bright Green Eyes Opened up with a snap when narrowed sharply as the morning sun streamed through the window. Harry rolled over his back and with a groan and tugged the sheets and tugged the sheets to his face to shut off the light from the outside. It was too bloody cheerful and he had the mo uh, he had the most well disturbing dream over the years. Malfoy and he kissed it was a dream it was just there was no discussion what about it, uh, about it whatsoever in this dream in the dreams him and malfoy agreed to meet today and talk about their sudden rushed rushed up relationship right harry shook his head and sat up swinging his legs up off the bed he stumbled out stumbled up and walked towards the bathroom. He paused in mid-step. He was hearing some weird things from inside of it. Frowning, he cautiously opened the door a bit, and what he saw made him stumble back and shut the door with a snap. Dean and Seamus were in throw, uh, thorough, uh, throes of passion. Terry quickly made his way towards his bed as he heard them swear quiet, swear quietly, uh, quite loudly. Snatching the curtains, he shut around him. He tried to st uh, steady his breathing back to normal and keep himself from giggling like mad. So apparently Dean and Seamus were partners, but nobody knew about it because, well, there was Ginny. Oh my God, Harry fr uh, frowned. What was Dean playing at? Never mind. It was it wasn't his problem, and he m want, wasn't going to pry. He heard the bathroom door squeak open and heard his friends whispered words, telling each other who might be the one to spot them. Well, they they were doing it. Harry hid a grin and pushed open the curtains, reve um, revealing the both boys standing too close to each other, whispering and giggling. Harry prompt clear, uh, promptly cleared his throat and stood up from his bed. Morning, he brightly. Morning, he brightly, and uh, he brightly and walked towards the door, bedroom, uh, bathroom. He heard their mu uh, mumbled greetings and smiled at himself, at to to himself. But both before he got in, he turned around and said to them. And if you're going to do that every morning, I suggest you use some locking and sealing, uh, silencing charms. With that, he closed the door behind him, leaving two blushing boys behind. It was, it was heavily raining by the time the trio made their way towards Hogsmeade. Ron was off with Lavender immediately when he spotted Lavender and left Hermione and Ron, uh, Hermione and Harry all by, uh, all by themselves, walking hand in hand and a large umbrella oh, uh, open up on their, on their hands, shielding them from the rain. 
the both of them were silent, which suited them just fine, and Harry wasn't ready to say one word. He'd never stop. He was too close with Hermione, and he shared her ev- with her, her, but now when he sa- he'd sound stupid, when his stupid dream. Shocking the white blonde hair caught his eye and attention, and Harry stumbled upon a mud landing right on his butt. Harry! Hermione cried out in shock. Oh my god, are you all right? She asked and bent down and helped him up on to his feet. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Harry said distracted. I just slipped. Be careful, okay? You nearly gave me a heart attack. And Hermione waved her wand to, at H- Harry and cleaned the mud off him. Thanks, or, uh, Harry. Why do I keep on saying Ron? I don't know. Harry mumbled and looked at, at the same way as he saw the same blonde hair. And Eileen thought if he'd gone mad and that, and now he was illustrating things. <laughs> but no, he was perfectly fine. Because there was, looking as pale and smug as he usually uh, was, Draco Malfoy could make himself look as delicious as a strawberry ice cream. Even though he'd wear a black suit, everything seemed to slow down. Everything seemed to disappear. Everything looked suddenly bright. And there he was, slowly turning around, a hand in his pocket on the other holding an umbrella. Their eyes met. Harry shivered as he saw raw need and heat in the depths of Malfoy's eyes. There was a faint glimmer of mischief in his eyes, too, but Harry paid it no attention. He was concentrating on the other emotions in his eyes. Harry blinked one or two times to make sure that that the gaze was truly directed to him and found Malfoy smirking at him. It was almost a smile, not a smirk, to be specific, but still it was there the quirk of the lips, the glint. Oh God, Malfoy licked his lips even so slowly and Harry had the sudden urge to just walk right over there, take Malfoy into his arms and just ravish him to death. Harry... Hermione's voice cut through Harry's mind, and the charm was broken as Harry turned his head to look at her, who was now tugging on his arm, making him walk towards the bookstore. Harry looked up at at the street again, seeing that Mouthway wasn't there anymore. Harry frowned in annoyance, but shook the feeling away as he closed the umbrella umbrella and walked in, in behind Hermione. I'll just have to check it. On some books here, Harry. I won't be long. Honest, said Hermione and rushed over to the dark art section. Harry sm- uh, smiled weakly after her, but said nothing and went to browse for a book to just keep him busy so he won't get bored while waiting for Hermione to finish. He walked down the a- um, aisles and noticed that they had been had some bra- uh uh, Beiser books and he had never seen he was well off the front room more to the back of the bookstore and it was more like a hidden section so no one could see who was standing there the books were mostly teaching witches and wizards how to woo their lovers off their feet and there were some sex related books too harry scowled at the book books ideally idly thought of uh, anyone would actually buy them as he was about to turn around so he could get a uh, go out to the secluded corner in search of hermione he bumped into someone which made him stumble back, and the person was quick to catch him by the waist. Oh, God, I'm sorry I didn't see... He abruptly stopped talking and went pale. 
That person was none other than Malfoy. Uh, not, not, <laughs> that person was none other than Malfoy. What are you doing here? His heart started uh, started to beat erotically, and Harry was trying to tell himself that it wasn't because he ha- happened to stumble into the git. Well, it's a bookstore, you see, and I mostly enjoy reading. Malfoy murmured his voice was a low drawl and ever so sarcastic. Mm-hmm. Said Harry and tried to to edge past away from Malfoy, but to no avail. Malfoy, I have to go back to Remi- have to go Hermione is the here. You see Malfoy was closing in on him, making him step back. I, uh, and, uh, I don't want her, Malfoy, what are you, but Harry's words were lost in Malfoy's lips. Harry purred uh, deep inside his chest and wound his hands on the back of Malfoy's neck, moving his body up to make it slide over Malfoy's. Tightening his hold on Malfoy's waist, he dipped down a bit and gave Harry a mind-blowing, breathtaking kiss. Tongue glide glide with each other in sync, lips sliding over each other, teeth nipping and biting, breath mingling with over each other, breathing, um, breathing each other in. Malfoy growled which made Harry bite his lower lip. Merlin, Merlin, uh, Malfoy's voice was low, seductive growl. Harry nipped his lip again and Malfoy purred. Harry, fi- feeling slightly confident, started to kiss his way down to Malfoy's neck. And feel- feeling the soft skin under his lips, he licked the l- way-, way back base of the neck to Malfoy's lips, plunging his tongue into the hot mouth with giddily accepted it. Breathing hard, Harry pulled back from the passionate kiss and placed his forehead on Malfoy's chest, which in in turn placed his head on top of Malfoy's, uh, on Harry's. The both of them tried to gain their breathing back to normal. Harry recovered first and looked up at Malfoy's face. His eyes were closed. His He was biting his lower lip. Harry placed a finger on on top of his lower uh, on top of his lips and touching them softly he soothed them out and Malfoy with a gasp le- let his lower lip go okay guys I'm going to stop it right there for today I know it's really short and I'm really sorry about that but you know what just a little taste right and then you get the whole thing tomorrow you know what I mean Okay, guys, I love you guys so much, and I hope I can see you tomorrow on my live stream. Um, uh, Ju- uh, Juniper might be there, and um, we'll answer all your questions. Um, we love hearing from you guys, and uh, <laughs> we just love hearing from you guys, and what you want to know about us uh, today you found out my real age you found out if I have guns if I like Trump <laughs> weird things today but I am going to tell you this I love hearing I love like answering questions don't be afraid to uh, ask me questions down down below and then I'll say them on the on the live stream and I might actually do a lot um, do a little bit with Elena, not. Who is Elena? Oh my gosh, I need to like stop with that name. Okay, Juniper. We will probably do, you know, a voice thing together, but we might not know. Um, but 
thank you guys for wa- uh, listening. Not watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please give my big red subscribe button some love and the post notification a little ding so you know when I am updating on this. Also, um, uh, I, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, trust me, there's a lot more stuff coming and (laughs) it's a lot. Uh, please let me know what you want to hear next and for, (laughs) oh my goodness, for, I love you guys so much, um, and, um, destroy that like button in the face, and I'm going to say bye-bye, I love you so much, bye-bye.